Hello there, it's Professor Stieg, continuing with our Audrey to Maya project. This time we're working on the teeth. So let's get going on that. We'll just have this side of the head available right now. We're going to go into faces. I'm using the tab to select by just gliding over the surfaces again. I'm going to go edit, edit mesh, and we're going to go duplicate. Make sure it's reset into its defaults and duplicate. This is going to, by clicking on the cherry bomb or the upside down lollipop, that's going to give us another, another surface to deal with that is consistent with the inside of the mouth. So I'm going to model and tweak this until it fits a little better and we'll resume with making the actual teeth here in a few moments. So I've just tweaked the inside of the mouth. I'm sure you can figure out how that works. This video is potentially going to be very long if I don't jump ahead like that. So I'm dropping the back down here, going back to the faces that need assistance. I might flatten these out a little bit here. In the modeling toolkit I can toggle between selection modes here, world, object, component. So it seems to me that object mode might be best for this moment of modeling. So just making it and bringing it up a little bit so when it's smooth it looks more like this. The faces around the edge here look pretty good. If if you need to cut them, multi-cut, if you hold down control, you can do edge loops quite easily. So I'm going to do one here, holding down control. Now I have these faces here, face, face mode, W. Now, I don't need these back because I'm just doing teeth up in front, and then this would be a throat area, so you don't really need teeth all the way back. So let's extrude those, going into the Edit Mesh Extrude to make sure everything is reset. Extrude allows me to do... I want to extrude it up, so to get it that way, let's reorient our tool by clicking on the cherry bomb there. Raise this up so that it has a nice ridge or a wall for the teeth running the perimeter of the inside of the mouth. So face. Duplicate special. We're going to make a copy and reflect it. By hitting apply, it will not close the dialog box, so we'll do that. Pull that over a little bit. Now we have that palette to work with. The need for one up above is important, so while we're in this tool, let's put this back at one, and we're going to flect now up and down. So we're going to do negative one on the Y channel. And then we'll position that quickly place it. We might rotate it a little bit with this one as well for now. Down below, let's get into the multi-cut. If you hold down control now on this edge, you're going to get a slice going all the way through here as opposed to doing edge loops this way. So let's do control, cut, because we want to have places to make teeth. And different little zones where teeth may be popping up. So, control, something I might even do too here. I don't like that solution, so I'm going to spring up from here. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to have to ease this one along a little better because it's not, it doesn't quite seem to understand what I need here. Just a little bit of extra care here.
Right, same with the sykes. I'm not making symmetrical teeth now anymore, so that's why this has been copied. Why? To get back into the tool. Control allows this. This. Now see, I don't care for that one, so I'm gonna I'm just wanna slice it up this way. Enter. A little bit. So we have that raised ridge. Now once again I'm gonna hold R and hold down shift and scale and it's extruding right here. That's I actually like that. It was annoying to me at first because shift used to constrain to an axis if you're a former former Maya user anything before 2018. So that was uh, something that I needed to get used to. Let's hit shift again, extrude, but this time I'm going to push that down. We basically want a ridge one, two, three sides so that when we get into the tooth, this is all about when it's smooth, you're going to actually have a separation of the gum and the tooth that has some nice organic rhythm. So if we pull this up, we have to do it by holding shift. And now we have a tooth starting to form here. I'm going to just scale without an extrusion first. Remember, I can go back through history and come back to this point. And then shift to continue. Shift to continue the tooth and make it very strong. Let's make it a little bit of a flat spot there so that's not so sharp that it looks unrealistic. Now, if you want to drop the gum edge so your tooth shows more in front, we would probably go back to this mode. Go to four for wireframe, a cut on either side. We can hook it together like this. We're making the gum gum line that drops down in front. So let's see if this works. Let's pull those down. Pull these, pull these words down. Go into smooth mode. See if this is doing what we're hoping. It's getting there. And this, of course, this face has to come back to where it was. And maybe we take these faces and squeeze them in a little bit. It's going to be a little more difficult to UV map, but it will have a, a nice look. So let's deselect that and scale this gum. Let's go to world. That might be best. Scale that in to make a tighter edge. Let's just select these two. I'm st still looking for something that looks best here. It's a matter of tweaking it here and there. And that's where that's going to break down right there. Root. Let's take this inner, let's do this into component mode. That seems more predictable for me, and we'll drop that one down like that so it makes a face, uh, the face more flat and a more severe edge right here. Let's continue selecting these two and make them world mode. Yeah, long video, but it's this is a bit of a process here, so it takes time, it takes patience. Something I haven't had it while growing up, so I've learned to become patient as an animator. It's I feel like it's made me a better person. Absolutely has. I'm gonna scale that up a little bit because. Looking for a little more, a little less, less harsh tooth. Tab. 
now we can just do one extrusion, make it very, very simple. Let's just, let's just go, shift, draw it up like this, and then we'll delete the faces in between. And this should be giving you a clear indication of how simple we're doing the tongue because you can look on other videos. I have I have a Slimer video that has the whole tongue set up. You can see how elaborate it might become, but this basically is just going to be this. No, I'm gonna make sure I'm in camera based mode. Yes it's on. So just go like this, drag drag and not worry about selecting anything underneath or behind, right? And just pull that up without hitting shift. Make sure they're all selected. Looks like there's one hiding in there. There we go. And just a big chunky tongue bump is going to allow us to have a tongue-like region. So that looks pretty cool. So Enjoy making the teeth. I'll be around in class to help you there. It's Professor Steeg. Take care.